Mushroom Wonderland. Hey, what's going on everybody? Aaron Hilliard here, Mushroom Wonderland. Thanks for joining us for another episode. Today we're gonna to be talking about three of the most deadly mushrooms growing right here in the Pacific Northwest. You need to be on the lookout for the mushrooms that you don't wanna eat just as much as the mushrooms that you do. So we're gonna go ahead and get right into this video and we're gonna start with number three, that is Gyromitra esculenta. This is the false morel or the beefsteak morel. Some people call it the brain mushroom because it looks a little bit like a brain. This mushroom's kind of gray colored to a reddish color as it matures, and it looks a bit like a brain. It's also known as a false morel because you run across a lot of these when you're out picking morels. These mushrooms grow on both sides of the Cascade and they grow right down at sea level in the Puget Sound in the spring. One thing that's interesting about this mushroom, it's called a Gyromitra esculenta, that's the Latin name. And gyro in Latin means round, mitra means hat, so it's like a round hat or a round cap. And interestingly enough, Esculenta in Latin means edible. Places in Europe, they actually sell these in markets and you could buy them. In Finland, they sell them, but they come with a disclaimer that these mushrooms are actually toxic and they actually have instructions on how to prepare them so that you can eat them safely. A lot of European countries have outlawed the sale of this mushroom because it's really an old country kind of thing to eat these. People in Scandinavian countries and Eastern European countries back in the old days, they had to forage their food and wild mushrooms were a big part of their diet. So they developed ways to process this mushroom in a way that made it edible. Although if you were to just throw these in the pan and cook them, you could get really sick and potentially even die. After you eat the Gyromitra esculenta, a toxin known as gyromitrin will start to attack your central nervous system as well as your kidneys and your liver and so it's kind of a gruesome way to get taken out by a mushroom. There have been reports of people dying within three days of ingestion of this mushroom so it's a definite deadly mushroom one to be avoided that is the false morel or gyromitra esculenta. Number two mushroom of deadly mushrooms on our list in the Pacific Northwest is the Gallerina marginata, also known as the funeral bell or the lawn skullcap. This is a small brown mushroom, only about a half inch to an inch and a half across. It's got kind of a caramel colored cap and when it's wet, it can be kind of slimy. The stem on this is a brownish color and it's very thin and hollow and it breaks really easy. And it also has a little analyst, a ring around that stem that will often look kind of white. Underneath the cap, you'll notice really tightly packed gills. The danger with these mushrooms is they're sometimes confused with hallucinogenic mushrooms in the Psilocybe family, and they can look a lot like Psilocybe cyanescent or Psilocybe stuntii, and they have that same kind of caramel color. They also are wood-loving mushrooms, so they'll grow on wood chips and beauty bark laid down in flower beds, but often on a log or even on buried wood where you don't see the wood. As this mushroom dries out, it fades to a more yellowish color, which also takes on characteristics of Psilocybe cyanescent. If you're going out looking for psychedelic mushrooms and you see something that you think looks close, just know that there are some deadly look-alikes out here, just like Gallerina marginata. If you take a spore print of this, it's got rusty brown spores, whereas a Psilocybe mushroom is gonna have a dark chocolate to purple spore print. The Gallerina marginata contains amatoxins, just like a lot of the poisonous amanitas, and also some Lapiota species contain amatoxins. Amatoxin is heat stable, so it doesn't matter if you cook the Gallerina or make a tea out of it, that's not gonna affect the toxins. And amatoxin is also very shelf stable, so it can be dried and still be toxic a long time later. After you eat these mushrooms, within five to 12 hours, you're gonna start, your mouth is gonna start watering, you're gonna start to vomit, you're gonna get diarrhea, really bad abdominal cramps, and then it's, things start to seem a little bit better, and then it really attacks your kidneys and your liver, and this mushroom can kill you really quick. 10 small mushrooms will kill a 50 pound child. People have died from liver and kidney failure within 48 hours of ingesting these mushrooms, so they are definitely not one to be messed with. That makes the funeral bell a real fitting name for this formidable mushroom. And number one on our list is the Amanita phylloides, or the death cap. Yes, these do grow here in the Pacific Northwest, although they are not native to this region. They were imported to America on European hardwoods about 100 years ago, 
and they've made their trek westward. It's kind of an urban mushroom. It's always growing in people's lawns or in parks where there's imported hardwood trees like oak trees. There has been reports that they're learning to associate with Gary Oak in British Columbia, and that is a native species. So these mushrooms might be morphing and finding a way to survive here on native trees to the Pacific Northwest. These mushrooms grow from about one inch around to seven inches around and they can grow about seven inches or eight inches tall. When they're young they start out looking very olive colored, kind of a green opaque color turning brown and as they mature and open up they get lighter colored and can almost be completely white when they're full grown. One thing you're gonna look for to identify the Amanita phylloides is gonna be the sac-like vulva on the bottom of the stem. It's very important that you look at the bottom of the stem when identifying a mushroom because Amanita phylloides has this egg-like vulva on the bottom and you'll notice it's like a sac that the mushroom is growing out of. This is very indicative of mushrooms in the destroying angel family. People who have eaten this mushroom have reported that it's one of the best tasting mushrooms that they ever ate. But when they're mature, if you smell it, it can smell like chlorine or rotting flesh even. They smell hideous when they're full grown. As with other amatoxins that were explained during the Gallerina marginata section, this mushroom is going to have three phases. You're going to have an, a gastrointestinal phase where you're vomiting, you have diarrhea, you're having night sweats, you're feeling dehydrated, all of that is horrible, feels like food poisoning. And then, then what happens is you're gonna start to feel a little bit better, you're gonna think you're out of the woods and that's when this amatoxin really attacks the liver and the kidneys and it can kill you. And there's not a lot doctors can do when you've reached that phase. There's certain ways of detoxifying somebody like using a charcoal stomach pump. There's also forms of chemotherapy that they can use to try to kill the amatoxins in your system before they will liquefy your liver. If you have a good team of doctors there in time and the timing is right, they could do a liver transplant. And if you wait too late, it's just too late and the amatoxin has destroyed both the liver and kidneys. The death cap makes number one on the most deadly mushrooms here in the Pacific Northwest. So thanks for joining another episode of Mushroom Wonderland and stay tuned for more mushroom information that could save your life. Thanks for subscribing. Peace.